Part 1. Secrets to a Peaceful and Fulfilling Life at 70. Simple Choices for Lasting Happiness. As we reach the golden age of 70, life takes on a new, quieter rhythm, filled with the wisdom of years. Yet these precious years hold the potential for deep joy and fulfillment, if only we know how to make the most of them. Have you ever wondered what small, mindful choices could bring you greater peace, comfort, and happiness? Join us as we explore the three essential aspects of living with grace and dignity at 70. Discover how to dress for comfort and confidence, live with purpose and simplicity, and avoid places that could harm your well-being. Uncover the secrets to a meaningful and contented life that celebrates the present and brings joy to each day. 1. Three types of clothes not to wear. Don't wear poor quality clothes. Choose comfort as the top priority. At the age of 70, our bodies need to be taken care of carefully, and clothes are an important part of that. Comfort in each outfit not only helps the body feel comfortable, but also creates relaxation in the soul. Many people often choose cheap clothes to save money, but did you know that poor quality clothes not only quickly get damaged, but can also make you feel stuffy and itchy? Imagine you step outside and your shirt suddenly tears. The feeling of embarrassment and loss of confidence will make you want to return home immediately. That is why choosing good, soft, and airy clothes is extremely necessary. Not only does it help you move more comfortably, but it also protects the sensitive skin of old age. Investing in a few quality clothes is investing in peace and confidence in all situations of life. Don't wear fancy clothes. Choose simplicity and elegance. Style at 70 does not need to be flashy or too elaborate. Simplicity and gentleness are the real highlights that help you shine naturally and gracefully. Many people may think that wearing colorful or complicated clothes will help them look younger. But the truth is, sometimes clothes that are too confusing will make you lose your inherent elegance. Simplicity is always a symbol of style and class. Gentle outfits with dark tones and sophisticated designs will help you highlight the rustic, elegant beauty of old age. Choose clothes that are not too fancy but still show solemnity and elegance so that every time you appear, everyone can see the gentleness, calmness, and understanding in you. Don't wear sloppy clothes. Keep your clothes clean and tidy. Nothing is more important than neatness and cleanliness when you are over 70. You can own expensive clothes, but if they are wrinkled or not washed properly, your appearance will lose some of its elegance. On the contrary, simple but carefully cared for outfits will make you look neat, polite, and much more confident. Keeping your clothes clean is not only a way for you to express yourself, but also a way to respect those around you. A neat outfit, not wrinkled or dirty, will help you feel comfortable when communicating with people and, at the same time, spread confidence and comfort to yourself. At 70, choosing clothes is not just about fashion, but also a way for you to take care of and show respect for yourself. Each outfit reflects a part of your life and values, so choose for yourself quality clothes, simple but sophisticated, so that you always feel confident, comfortable, and happy every day. Let your every day be a journey full of joy and peace of mind. 2. Three things not to do at age 70. When we reach the age of 70, we begin to look at life from a different perspective, deeper, quieter, and more appreciative. However, as time changes, there are old habits and concepts that older people need to reconsider. Things that used to be important may no longer be relevant to reality, and adjusting your lifestyle will help you feel lighter and more peaceful. Here are three things not to do when you are in your twilight years to live a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Don't organize too many birthday parties. Joy sometimes comes from the simplest things. At the age of 70, a birthday is no longer just a day to celebrate another year, but an opportunity to look back on the journey, meet children and grandchildren and old friends. Many elderly people want to organize big parties together with their families so that their children and grandchildren have the opportunity to show their filial piety. But in today's fast-paced society, that is sometimes not as easy as before. Modern life forces many young people to leave their hometowns to make a living, and visiting home often only happens on special occasions such as Lunar New Year or the Mid-Autumn Festival. 
A birthday party can become a pressure for children and grandchildren when they can only send red envelopes and cannot fully participate. And you, the organizer, will feel the absence in incomplete gatherings. Instead of waiting for big parties, why not organize a cozy family meal where you can truly enjoy peaceful moments with your loved ones? A simple meal, but full of care and sharing, can bring more happiness than a lavish party. When you realize that true joy comes from small and sincere moments, life will become lighter and more meaningful. Don't be wasteful. Live frugally for more peace. When we get old, we understand that material things are no longer a measure of happiness. However, many people still maintain the habit of organizing big parties with a desire to show filial piety to their children and grandchildren or to receive attention from friends. However, organizing these parties not only puts financial pressure on the family, but sometimes also increases unnecessary burdens for yourself. Remember, no party can bring lasting prosperity or joy. The gifts you receive today will have to be repaid on other occasions, creating an endless cycle of spending. If you are not in a situation of abundance, organizing big parties will only make your family more difficult. The ancients once said, when you are rich, even if you live in the deep forest, people will come to you. But when you are poor, even if you live in the middle of a crowded market, no one will ask. Instead of wasting money on events, pay attention to the things that are really necessary in life. Saving is not only a way to protect your finances, but also a way to help you feel more secure and peaceful in your final days. Don't let the past hurt you. Live simply and find joy in the present. There is a truth that not everyone can easily accept. Time cannot be turned back, and those who have passed away will never return. In many families, organizing a big birthday party can be an occasion to show filial piety, but at the same time, it can also rekindle the pain of loss that you have tried to forget. Facing the past every year by organizing big parties sometimes only makes the wound more painful. Wise elders often choose to live a simple life not showing off or getting too involved in social relationships. They realize that true happiness does not come from ostentation or crowded meetings, but from peaceful moments with loved ones. The simplicity in their way of life helps them find joy in small things. An afternoon sitting with a warm cup of tea, a family meal, or simply moments of leisure without worry. In conclusion, at the age of 70, we need to learn to live simply, save, and cherish the small joys around us. No need for lavish parties, no need for complicated meetings. You can still live a meaningful, complete, and peaceful life. Let each passing day be a new joy, a moment of peace and true happiness. Three, three places you should not visit when you are 70. As you get older, your steps should be considered more carefully. At the age of 70, your health is no longer the same as when you were young and your body begins to have limitations. So choosing safe places to visit is extremely important. Although your mind is still eager to explore and enjoy life, you should know how to take care of your health so that old age is not only peaceful days, but also a time to enjoy life with your family to the fullest and happiest. Below are three places that the elderly should avoid to ensure safety and avoid unnecessary troubles. This not only helps you protect your health, but also shows respect for yourself and your family. Cemetery. Let your children and grandchildren take care of it. Live in the present with joy and peace. As we age, our hearts become more emotional and sensitive to past memories. The cemetery, with the graves of deceased relatives, is a place filled with memories mixed with emotions of joy and sadness. Every time you step into it, not only do images of the departed come flooding back, but also memories, regrets, and sometimes wordless tears. The quietness and coldness of the cemetery make the soul heavy, making it difficult to avoid feelings of sadness and loneliness. So when you are old, you should gently step back and let your children and grandchildren take on the task of cleaning and taking care of your ancestors' graves. This is not only the duty of your children and grandchildren, but also a way for the next generation to continue to preserve family traditions, express gratitude, and remembrance. As for you, the most important thing is to live fully in the present. Spend the remaining days enjoying the joy with your family, your children and grandchildren, those who are always by your side, caring and loving you. 
Old age is the time when we need to live more for ourselves. Life is not long enough to continue to reminisce and indulge in the past. It is time for you to let the sad memories sleep to fill your heart with joy and peace. Every present moment is precious, and you deserve to enjoy every minute of it with a comfortable and peaceful mind. Living for the present, embracing the good things with your family, will help you find simple and profound happiness. Don't let visits to the cemetery make you lose the positive energy that you should preserve. The past is gone, and the present is the most valuable gift. Let your children and grandchildren take care of remembering the deceased for you so that you can spend the rest of your days with joy and peace of mind. Where the law is broken, keep your honor and dignity. Honor and dignity are not just words we often hear. They are the most valuable assets that you have worked hard to cultivate throughout your life. After going through many ups and downs, the memories, lessons, and values you have built become a solid foundation for your current life. But unfortunately, there are many elderly people who still make mistakes when they fall into unhealthy activities, even breaking the law. There are sad cases when the elderly, instead of seeking positive joy, get caught up in unclean places, bringing so much trouble to themselves and their families. You can imagine the feeling when an elderly person is caught in shameful situations, taken to the police station, and relatives have to rush to resolve it. Not only does it damage your reputation, but those images will be engraved in the minds of your children and grandchildren, creating pain that will probably never fade. Remember, in life, an unnecessary mistake in your old age can destroy what you have built for so long. That is why, instead of risking yourself with bad choices, you should find healthy hobbies such as reading books, walking in the park, participating in community activities, or simply chatting with friends. These activities not only help you maintain your health, but are also a great way to maintain a good image in the eyes of your children and society. Cherish and preserve your honor as a treasure. Your old age should be spent enjoying life, building positive relationships, and enriching your soul. Don't let a moment of mistake dim the light of your life, because what you have devoted and protected throughout your life deserves to be cherished and preserved. Live a meaningful life, a life that you can be proud of when you look back. Unfamiliar and dangerous places. Prioritize safety. Avoid risk. When we are young, life is often likened to a journey of discovery where every turn brings new opportunities and endless fun. But as we enter our 70s, wisdom and experience lead us to a clearer truth. Safety comes first. Traveling and exploring new lands can be an exciting part of life, but it is important to be aware of the potential risks that seniors face. For older adults, a trip to an unfamiliar area may not be a simple adventure. Bumpy roads, unfamiliar terrain, or even unexpected situations can create major obstacles. A simple fall can lead to serious injuries, reducing the quality of life you have worked so hard to build. So choose familiar places that you have loved, where you can relax and enjoy yourself without worrying. Familiar spaces not only make you feel comfortable, but also give you a sense of security so that you can fully immerse yourself in nature and the people around you. Don't forget your mobile phone when you go out. It is not only a communication tool, but also a reliable companion in case of need. Being able to contact your loved ones immediately will help you feel more secure. This not only protects your health, but also helps your family feel secure knowing that you are safe. Remember, life at 70 is not just about what you have done in the past, but also about how you live in the present. To be able to enjoy every moment, prioritize your own safety. Life is a journey worth living and you deserve to have full, meaningful experiences without worrying about risks. Live smart and enjoy all the good things life has to offer. Living a peaceful and fulfilling old age. At the age of 70, you are standing at an important milestone in life where time allows you to stop and reflect on what you have experienced. This is the time to look back on past journeys, to be proud of the achievements you have planted and cultivated over the years. Life although not long enough to pursue frivolous things, is still wide enough for you to immerse yourself in peaceful moments and simple daily joys. Prioritize your own safety, stay away from potentially risky places, and always know how to maintain your health.
because that is not only the way you take care of yourself, but also the way to honor the values you have built throughout your life. Every day can become a precious gift as long as you know how to appreciate the little things around you. The smiles of your children and grandchildren or warm conversations with your family. Family is the most peaceful place and source of encouragement in this period of life. When the elderly live happily, the children work hard, and everyone shares good values, the family will become prosperous and happy. Old age is not a burden, but a precious time for you to enjoy serenity, slow down, and immerse yourself in the boundless love from your loved ones. Live every moment to the fullest, so that every day is a meaningful journey. Every moment is an opportunity for you to feel the beauty of life. Open your heart to joy and happiness, so that these days become beautiful memories filled with laughter and love. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time. Part 2. If you are 70 to 80, 8 things to avoid to live healthy to 100. Imagine stepping into your golden years with the wisdom to balance kindness with caution, the foresight to save diligently, and the resilience to maintain your health and relationships. As we age, the world doesn't slow down. Instead, it presents new challenges and opportunities. This guide reveals the eight crucial principles to embrace. Ensuring your later years are not only secure, but also richly fulfilling. Dive into a transformative journey where self-care isn't selfish, where optimism is tempered with realism, and where every decision is a step towards preserving your dignity and independence. Join us in exploring the secrets to a vibrant, empowered life after 60, where your golden years truly shine with the brilliance they deserve. 1. Don't be overly soft-hearted. In our society, the figure of the Good Samaritan is often lauded, a symbol of selfless generosity and unwavering kindness. However, this archetype, while noble, can also lead to unforeseen consequences, as illustrated by the story of Jack. Upon retiring, Jack devoted himself to his community, assisting neighbors with enthusiasm and earning widespread admiration. Yet, this very kindness became his vulnerability. One fateful day, Jack returned home to find his sanctuary violated, his cherished possessions stolen. The subsequent police investigation unveiled a harsh truth. The perpetrator was a young, unemployed man from the neighborhood, a man whom Jack had repeatedly helped. This man had borrowed money on numerous occasions, exploiting Jack's generosity. Jack's inability to say no, his tender-hearted nature, had painted a target on his back, making him an easy mark for exploitation and theft. This narrative is a poignant reminder for all, especially older adults, who might naturally lean towards generosity. It underscores the critical need to balance kindness with caution. While it is heartwarming to help others, we must also recognize when to draw the line, to say no to unreasonable demands, and to protect ourselves from those who might take advantage. In our later years, maintaining a sense of security and well-being becomes paramount. It is essential to cultivate a discerning heart, one that can differentiate between genuine need and opportunistic exploitation. Jack's experience teaches us that safeguarding our own interests is not selfish but necessary. It empowers us to continue living with dignity and peace of mind. Let us remember that while being kind is a virtue, protecting our rights and safety is equally important. We owe it to ourselves to be vigilant to ensure that our golden years are not marred by the shadows of deceit and exploitation. Let Jack's story serve as a powerful lesson in the importance of self-care and assertiveness, reminding us that true kindness also includes kindness towards oneself. Two. Don't be willfully optimistic. In the fabric of human nature, optimism often weaves a beautiful yet dangerous pattern. Regardless of age, we tend to approach our relationships, especially with relatives, through rose-tinted glasses. We hold on to an unwavering belief in the goodness of others, driven by an inherent desire to see the best in those closest to us. This tendency to be unconditionally kind and forgiving, even when faced with unkindness, is a testament to the depth of our emotional reservoir. But what are the true consequences of such unbridled optimism? For many, this relentless positivity leads to a painful path of exploitation and betrayal. 
When we consistently show kindness without setting boundaries, we unknowingly open the door for others to take advantage of our goodwill. This exploitation is not always malicious. Sometimes, it's simply a byproduct of human behavior, people taking what is freely given without a second thought to the emotional cost. The heart of this issue lies in the misconception that being perpetually optimistic equates to being emotionally rich and resilient. While a positive outlook can indeed enrich our emotional lives, it can also blind us to the realities of human behavior. In a world where not everyone operates with the same level of integrity and kindness, unchecked optimism can lead to repeated heartache. It sends a signal that our feelings are secondary, paving the way for disregard and disrespect. For older adults who have spent a lifetime cultivating relationships and nurturing family ties, the sting of betrayal can be especially poignant. It's a harsh reminder that even the most well-intentioned optimism can be misplaced. The lesson here is not to abandon kindness or optimism, but to temper them with wisdom and discernment. Establishing boundaries and recognizing the potential for exploitation are crucial steps in protecting oneself while maintaining emotional richness. 3. Don't become too obsessed with socializing. In life, the value of true confidants cannot be overstated. As we navigate through our journeys, we encounter countless individuals, yet only a few truly understand and earn our trust. It's a profound realization that genuine friendships are rare treasures. While socializing is an inevitable part of life, becoming overly obsessed with it can be detrimental. The constant pursuit of new connections can often lead to shallow relationships, lacking depth and mutual understanding. In our younger years, making friends is an exciting adventure. However, as we grow older, the quality of our relationships becomes far more significant than the quantity. It is in these later years that we should exercise greater caution in choosing our friends. Our life experiences have taught us valuable lessons about human nature and interpersonal dynamics. We must utilize this wisdom to avoid negative relationships that drain our energy and spirit. Cherishing genuine friendships should be our priority. These are the bonds that withstand the test of time and adversity, providing comfort, support, and a sense of belonging. True friends are those with whom we share common values, mutual respect, and a deep emotional connection. They are the ones who stand by us through thick and thin, celebrating our successes and offering solace during our challenges. As we reflect on our past interactions, it becomes clear that not every friendship is meant to last forever. Some are fleeting, serving a purpose for a particular season of our lives. Others may simply lack the emotional connection needed to evolve into something deeper. It's crucial to recognize and accept this reality, allowing us to focus our energy on nurturing the relationships that truly matter. 4. Don't neglect saving money. As we journey through life, one of the most steadfast truths remains the critical importance of saving money. This principle resonates deeply, regardless of age, but takes on even greater significance as we approach our golden years. Money is not merely a tool for transactions. It is the bedrock of confidence and security, especially post-retirement. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with financial stability an assurance that you can meet life's unexpected challenges head on. For older adults, having a robust savings account is not just about financial freedom. It's about dignity and independence. When you have savings, you command respect from your children and others around you. It shows that you have planned for your future and are prepared to handle the uncertainties that life may throw your way. However, without savings, life can become a relentless cycle of anxiety the fear of illness and the associated medical expenses can be overwhelming. A single trip to the hospital can swiftly erode your financial reserves. This fear can be so paralyzing that it may deter individuals from seeking medical help for minor health issues, fearing the cost. Neglecting these minor issues can lead to severe health complications, turning what could have been a simple fix into a life-threatening situation. Moreover, the absence of financial security can strip away the joy of living. Life's beauty lies in its experiences, the ability to savor each moment without the shadow of financial worry. Saving money ensures that when illness strikes, you can seek prompt medical attention. 
It means you can enjoy your retirement years, travel, indulge in hobbies, and spend quality time with loved ones without the constant nagging fear of financial ruin. Life is precious and fleeting. By prioritizing savings, you are not just hoarding money, you are investing in your future well-being. You are ensuring that you can face health challenges with confidence, maintain your independence, and enjoy the tranquility that comes with financial preparedness. In essence, saving money is not just a financial strategy. It is a commitment to living your best life free from the chains of financial uncertainty. 5. Don't underestimate the importance of health. In the tapestry of life, health stands out as the most precious thread, weaving together the ability to savor every moment, especially as we grow older. Health isn't just an aspect of well-being. It is the cornerstone upon which a fulfilling life is built. As we age, the realization dawns that without good health, the joys of life become distant memories rather than daily experiences. Understanding the importance of maintaining health transcends mere physical exercise and dietary adjustments. It embodies a profound respect and care for the gift of life itself. Developing healthy habits, ensuring sufficient sleep, and allowing the body time and space for self-repair are crucial. These practices are not just routines, but acts of love and respect for our bodies. Moreover, cultivating a positive attitude in the face of life's inevitable challenges becomes a source of immense strength. The resilience to stay positive, even when times are tough, is a testament to the spirit's unyielding power. It is often said that gold is precious, but health is priceless. This timeless wisdom resonates deeply because, while money can be earned multiple times, we only have one life and one health to cherish. Consider the daunting reality that medical expenses due to poor health can often exceed the wealth amassed over a lifetime. This stark truth underscores the necessity of prioritizing health. As we reach our 60s and beyond, this priority becomes not only a personal responsibility, but also a familial one. Our well-being directly impacts our loved ones, making it imperative to take proactive steps in maintaining our health. 6. Don't lose your temper with family members. As we journey through the golden years of life, the relationships we cherish with our family members become ever more significant. One of the most vital lessons we can learn is the importance of maintaining our composure and not losing our temper with those we love. The fabric of family life is delicate and it requires a gentle, understanding touch to keep it intact. Too often, the elderly may feel a sense of entitlement or superiority, stemming from their years of experience and wisdom. This can lead to a tendency to dictate terms and criticize the younger generation excessively. While it might come from a place of care and concern, this behavior can sow seeds of discord and resentment within the family. The result is a fractured home environment where warmth and harmony are overshadowed by tension and conflict. Imagine the transformative power of tempering one's temper. Instead of reacting with frustration or anger, taking a moment to breathe, to listen, and to empathize can create an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding. This shift in behavior fosters a sense of peace and belonging, where each family member feels valued and heard. It's important to recognize that every member of the family, from the youngest to the oldest, has their own struggles and perspectives. Showing patience and empathy, especially in moments of disagreement, can bridge generational gaps and strengthen familial bonds. By doing so, we not only improve our own well-being, but also nurture a loving, supportive environment for our descendants. The ripple effects of such a change are profound. A family that practices patience and understanding is one that thrives on love and harmony. The elderly in particular, play a pivotal role in setting this tone. By leading with kindness and compassion, they set an example for future generations to follow. 7. Don't worry excessively about descendants. There's a profound wisdom in the saying that children and grandchildren have their own blessings. In our relentless desire to ensure their success, we often exhaust ourselves, resembling beasts of burden more than loving guardians. This relentless drive, fueled by love and a sense of duty, can sometimes blind us to an essential truth. Our descendants will chart their own paths, shaped by their unique fortunes and life experiences. Life's unpredictability is a tapestry of diverse challenges and triumphs, each uniquely tailored to those who live it. 
Over-involvement and excessive worrying, though well-intentioned, often hinder rather than help. We must recognize that our children and grandchildren need space to grow, to stumble, and to rise again. Their strength and success flourish best in the fertile ground of autonomy, free from the shadow of our constant interventions. As we age, the desire to leave a legacy becomes a noble quest. However, the most enduring legacy we can bestow is not material wealth, but the priceless values of frugality and self-discipline. Teaching these virtues equips our descendants with tools to navigate life's inevitable vicissitudes. A fortune may dwindle, but the wisdom of living within one's means and the strength of self-discipline can sustain them through any storm. Ultimately, the responsibility for our lives rests with us. As the autumn of life approaches, it is crucial to plan wisely, ensuring that we do not face the later years with regret or want. We must prioritize our well-being, ensuring that we do not deplete our resources in the name of an uncertain future for our descendants. In this delicate balance lies true love and wisdom. By stepping back, we grant our descendants the freedom to find their own way, armed with the values we've instilled. We honor their journey and, in turn, secure our own peace and contentment in the twilight of our lives. This profound act of love and trust ensures a legacy far richer than any material wealth could ever provide. 8. Don't overly prioritize relatives. As we journey through life, the bonds we share with our relatives often become steeped in nostalgia and sentimentality. It's a natural part of our human experience to treasure these familial ties. However, there's a poignant truth we must confront. Overly prioritizing these relationships can sometimes lead us down a path of irrational decisions and potential heartache. The essence of family, while invaluable, does not always equate to unwavering loyalty. Surprisingly, some of our most steadfast supporters may not share our bloodline. Overemphasizing the importance of relatives can set us up for a profound disappointment. Familial bonds, though seemingly strong, may falter when tested by the sands of time. It is crucial especially for older adults, to recognize that life's fleeting moments are better spent nurturing our own personal growth and well-being. Our youth can be likened to an unfinished canvas, vibrant with potential, yet awaiting the masterful strokes of diligence, effort, and wisdom. These are the tools with which we paint our future, illuminating the path ahead as we age. The energy and resources we cultivate in our younger years, through acquiring knowledge, maintaining health, and developing character serve as a rich foundation for a fulfilling life in our later years. Imagine the freedom and joy that come from investing in oneself. By focusing on personal development, we open the door to new interests, friendships, and dreams. We become architects of our destiny rather than passive participants in a predetermined script. This approach not only enriches our lives, but also empowers us to face the future with confidence and enthusiasm. In essence, while family holds a cherished place in our hearts, it is our personal growth that truly prepares us to embrace life's myriad possibilities. Let us cherish the present, harness our youthful vigor, and transform our lives into a masterpiece of resilience and fulfillment. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time.